So we start the first question, quite simple. Who is Matthew Berry? And how did you become a teacher, artist? What drew you in that direction? Sure. Um, I am run the visual arts department at Etobicoke School of the Arts and I've been making art, I guess, since I was a kid or at least drawing and painting, that kind of thing. And I went to university to become an artist and to start training and I started exhibiting at the end of high school and then um, had dealers represent my work for many years after that. I've um, been very lucky to show all over the world and had some amazing experiences in the art community. Started teaching about 13 years ago at Etobicoke School of the Arts and took over the program I guess three years after that. And since then we've had an amazing run of uh, sending our kids all over the world and having them exhibit in museums and shows in countries every year outside of Canada, across Canada and um, we've built this really amazing community. That's, I've got to give a high five for you. That's <laughs> awesome, seriously. Uh, what made you to go into the teaching though? You said you were showing everywhere, you had agents and yep. bookings and all that. Why'd you yeah. go into the teaching aspect of it? It's probably not a Queen West interview or program answer. Well, no, it's all right. That, yeah, yeah okay, no, for sure. sure, yeah. All right, so my wife was dying and had MS and okay. uh, I needed to pay for her because she couldn't work anymore yeah. and um, needed to pay for her medication. And my parents have both been high school teachers. And so I was sure right from an early age that teaching was the last thing I was going to do and but, made a promise early on that I would never become a high school teacher. Um, but then, of course, ended up going to teacher's college and um, becoming a teacher in order to help the family situation at home. But was super lucky to um, be told about a typical school of the arts and went and visited the principal just when I was starting teacher's college and asked if I could do a placement yeah. there and was really lucky to get the spot and never left. So I did both practice teaching placements oh. there and uh, have been working ever since. It's been rewarding. So the thing you didn't, you promised yourself you wouldn't do, ended yeah. up doing and you're loving it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's yeah. I do have a question though. Yeah. On the school site, it says yeah. the oldest freestanding art school, 1981. Yeah, most art schools fall down at some point. Ours <laughs> is close, our roof leaks and um, you know we have mice and ants uh, visit us regularly. So we're close to not freestanding, but we okay. continue to stand. Well, hopefully we, we're not paying a fortune, but for the 225 per <laughs> yeah, plant that we yeah. give, it helps a little. That's yes. right, yeah, for sure. uh, plug so, some holes. Yeah. yeah, so you have the two planters not far from here. Yeah. Did it excite you that we called to ask or you seemed yeah, for pretty sure. good? No, we, we love having opportunities like this happen. Um, we helped build elements of Canada House for the Olympics oh. this year too, which was super exciting for all of us. And so we're happy to do all kinds of things like this. That's amazing. I want to thank you for coming yeah, out. Thank you. And fantastic. Thanks. Awesome.